Hey guys, Sam here from Super Squid Jump, and today I'm going to quickly run down 5 shifty station tips to help you win more games in Splatfest. There is a different shifty station for each Splatfest, but I'm going to be talking about the most recent one that appeared in the North American Baseball vs. Soccer Splatfest. Anyway, let's get right into it. Tip number one. There's more than one way into the enemy side of the map. You can make this jump here and sneak in undetected. Inking this area at the end of the match could easily net your team the win. Tip number two. Remember to use the grapplings to your advantage. They might seem difficult to understand, but remember that any ink from your main, special, or sub-weapon can activate them. Tip number three. The grapplings are not instant teleportation. Look out for enemy inklings and try to avoid using them at low health. Though really, it's mostly an issue when using the grappling with an enemy straight in front of you. So if the person targeting you is off to the side, then you should definitely use the grapplings. Tip number four. The grappling can be used to get behind opponents that you're fighting. It's a great distraction tool and it's gotten me many splats. Along with this, there's no cooldown, so you can jump around and confuse your targets to no end. Tip number 5. This map seems like it definitely wasn't designed with the charger in mind, since it's mostly about quick confrontations on the central platforms. This is kind of the opposite of what the charger excels at, so shooters and blasters are probably going to be your weapon of choice. And that's been 5 quick tips to up your Splatfest game. I hope these help you win some matches, regardless of what team you're on. I'm probably going to be streaming Splatfest later today, and I'm super close to nearing 100 subscribers, so subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I go live. Otherwise, that's about it. So bye, and until next time, I am Super Squid Jump, blasting off again. See you soon!